I'm Molly Ball with your RJTV video preview of a few of the stories you can find in the Las Vegas Review Journal that's on newsstands Wednesday and online 24-7 at ReviewJournal.com. Tuesday marks the 25th anniversary of Cirque du Soleil. To celebrate, the French-Canadian circus troupe took to the streets of Las Vegas on stilts, hoping to set a world record for the most people to walk on stilts at once. With simultaneous stilt walks in Montreal, Orlando, Moscow, and Macau, Cirque was pretty sure to shatter the previous record of 625 with more than 1,300 stilt walkers. Check out our online video of this special event. MGM Mirage announced Tuesday the gaming giant plans to brand and manage a non-gaming resort hotel in Egypt. The project, in partnership with an Egyptian company which will finance the project, is to consist of a 550-room hotel called the MGM Grand New Giza on the outskirts of Cairo. It's part of a larger development of homes, shopping, and other facilities. In Wednesday's business section, read about how MGM Mirage is using deals like this one to raise its international profile as a hotel brand with low cost to the company, hopefully improving its struggling bottom line along the way. Check it out in the print edition or online at ReviewJournal.com. Speaking of struggling bottom lines, Clark County is looking at cutting about $11 million out of its budget to make up for the funds taken away by the state legislature. At Tuesday's meeting, the Clark County Commission discussed the cuts which commissioners were none too happy about. The $11 million is coming out of a county general fund budget of $1.3 billion, which lawmakers targeted to help make up a massive budget shortfall at the state level. What programs is the County Commission going to cut? Find out in Wednesday's Review Journal and online at ReviewJournal.com. The many Nevadans who are facing foreclosure could get some help from a new state law that goes into effect July 1st. But first, the state Supreme Court is charged with working out the details. On Tuesday, the justices held the first of two hearings on the rules for implementing the new law, shedding some light on how this new process is going to work. If you're looking for answers about the changes to the law and whether they could help you, read all about it at ReviewJournal.com or, of course, in your daily newspaper. And now, the weather. What happened to our hot Vegas summer? Look for Tuesday's threatening clouds to linger through much of Wednesday with slight chances for widely scattered showers before this storm system moves on. Expect a mix of sun and clouds for the rest of the week with a warming trend. Some, but not all, neighborhoods will hit triple digits on Friday before another storm system brings more chances for rain and cooler temperatures for the weekend, but not as cool as we've had lately. For breaking news 24-7, don't touch that mouse, you're in the right place. ReviewJournal.com <laughs>